we have done a very simple patch just including a number of the objects and message and number boxes so in this week we move to something more visual or graphical we are going to use a library called the GEM and you can see from its own website the GEM stands for graphics environment for multimedia so it's actually included into our PD extended software and you do not need to install it separately if you install the PD without the extended you might need to install this particular particular library GEM in a separate form so again we will create another empty patch and I will increase the font size for legibility and save it as the second lesson in order to use the GEM library or we call it the GEM library we need to have some preparation and that preparation will appear again and again during in, in, in this particular course so that preparation come with two things one is an object called GEMWIN so you can call it GEM window so it actually is an object we will create or open a separate graphical window on your desktop and the second object is again start with GEM it's the name called GEM head so it's kind of instruction would tell the graphical library to draw something on the newly created window so what we're going to do next is to create the new window for this particular object GEM win you can have a look of its parameter so actually it's come with a lot of parameter where you can modify or fine-tune the appearance of this window and to start with we just use a few of them in this particular lessons we'll use a message with the name create and connect it to the germ window inlet so the create by its name is to create a window and if we have to create we have to close or uh, with a proper name called destroy and with these two messages you can create and destroy or close the window and other than these two message we also need to have the third one and for the third one we can use the toggle which is a switch or a button so in last week we talked about the function of this toggle is actually a button which can switch on and switch off some parameter so when it switch on it, it will send out a signal number one to the germ window and ask it to render the graphics immediately and when you switch off it will send out a zero as the message to the germ window and it will stop the rendering so to test the behavior of the germ window objects we can switch to the run mode and we create the germ window so this is the normal one so in normal case if we are not doing the screen recording is probably will have this one in the first time and then when you click upon this particular toggle switch it will start to render the graphics okay so the next step is we try to draw something on this particular window by using this gem head command the thing we are going to draw is the most simple primitive shape so we can call it some form of 2D geometric objects or 2D geometric shapes so it, the gem library 
come with a number of them. So we're going to use the simple one called the rectangle. If you take a look of this particular object, it comes with three, one, two, three inlets. The first one of them you have to connect from the jam head. And the second and the third inlet actually define the size of this rectangle. So without defining the size, it comes with a default dimension. You can have a look of the size of a default rectangle. So we click the create and start the rendering. Once you start the rendering, so this different from the last section. So you can see there's a square, a white square appear on the screen in this particular window called it gem. And this is the effect of this particular object, rectangle. So the default rectangle have a length. This is the width and this is the height. Each one of them has a one single unit. And if you would like to change the size of this rectangle, you can add two more parameters to these two inlet. And both of them are number. And then the second number. The first number is the width, and the second number is the height. So it's defined the two dimension of this particular rectangle. We can have a look. And again, in last week, we can click and drag to modify this number. You can see the immediate change in the size of the rectangle. For the number box, there are one more thing or one more method you can change the value of the number. So if you just click and drag, the number changed by one single unit of an integer. If you click on or if you press on the shift key and then do the drag, you can change number in decimal. So again for the second number, you can also press the shift key and click drag to change the number. So this is how we can change the size of the rectangle. One more parameter we can modify for this particular rectangle is we can change how it is rendered on the screen. If you would like to see what you can do with this particular rectangle, so again you can choose the help. And you can see some of the additional parameters you can introduce to modify the appearance of this particular rectangle. Okay, we'll try out two of the messages. The first one is jawline, and the second one is draw fill. And we both connect the two of them to the first inlet of the rectangle. and you can experience the difference. So the default rectangle is a white one. And if we click on the draw line message, it will change into a white outline without the center color. And if you click on the draw fill again, it will fill up with the white color. So the difference between jawline, which is the outline color, 
and draw fill, which is the fill color. If you are familiar with Flash or Illustrator, you can tell the difference between the stroke and the fill. So that's the behavior of a rectangle. And I mentioned there are a number of other two-dimensional geometric form other than the rectangle. You can actually try out other shape like the square, the circle, or a triangle. Each one of them has different behavior. If you would like to know or understand how to use it, you can click on the help to have a look of what type of parameter you can pass it to the objects. And you can try out the rest of them like a square or circle or triangle by yourself. And the next step we are going to do is an exercise. At this point, when you play back this particular patch, you can use your mouse with the number box to change the size of the rectangle. And if I ask a question, can you do it to change the position or the location of the rectangle? So actually the answer is yes, certainly. In order to work on with this one, you can have a look of the following objects. And in mathematics or in computer geometry or coordinate geometry, when you would like to change the appearance of a graphics, we come with something called the transformation. And there are two common transformations we are going to cover in the pure data exercise. The first one is the translate. The translate is actually moving the objects in different directions. So the directions we can move the objects in a three-dimensional space is x, y, and z. And you can have a look of the help of this particular objects and it's quite straightforward. It's come with an inlet where you pass the gem head and a geometry. And the rest of them is actually how you can change the location in terms of the X, Y and Z position. So you can have fun with this one first and then we'll come back for the solution.